very ferruginousy there. Yeah, I see a lot of whites. It's not raven chicks. John Doremus has been keeping an eye on raptors for the U.S. Bureau of Land Management since 1972. After decades of field work, this retired wildlife biologist doesn't need a map to find his way around the Morley Nelson Snake River Birds of Prey National Conservation Area, a unit managed by the BLM covering nearly half a million acres south of Boise, Idaho. We're known for having the highest concentration of nesting raptors in all of North America. Let's do it. Even though Doremus is retired, he still leads hawk banding trips here every spring. Hey, little guys, how you doing? Banding these ferruginous hawk chicks gives biologists a way to identify them later. These birds have a uh, full-size leg and foot by two and a half weeks old, probably. So you could band them that young, but I like to wait longer than that, just to be sure. Banding the hawks offers the public a rare close encounter. <laughs> it's interesting. I didn't expect him to be so soft. You um, want to hold on? It's kind of intimidating, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm to more afraid that they're going to hurt me than I'm going to hurt them. We've put up nesting platforms throughout the NCA, and this is just an opportunity for the public to get more familiar with the area and with, with the birds. So increasing the awareness of people in the Boise area of what's out here. Doremus also serves as president of the Snake River Raptor Volunteers. Our interest is the birds of prey area and preserving birds of prey in their habitat. We've put up the uh, nest platforms. We've planted trees for some of the tree nesting raptors. We are getting into uh, seed collection and planting seedlings and seeds in the habitat that's been burned, putting, trying to get native species, especially shrubs, to go back where they have been. Retiree Carl Henry is an avid hunter and angler who volunteers with the group as a way to give back to the environment. This is his first hawk banding trip. The birds that we saw, the experience, uh, the diverse, uh, the diverse uh, topography, um, uh, actually finding the rattlesnake at the end of the show, was, uh, it was actually a wonderful experience. Uh, I wouldn't have traded it for anything. That's just the kind of show Doremus hopes will keep people excited about preserving both this place and its birds of prey. One more. Uh, I think we got room. Okay. Yeah. Over there. Oh, yeah, good birdie. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.